Hey you all, it's um, Ed Siller coming to you with just a bit of an intro. Um, may not be a little bit. <laughs> so I'm just going to go through these wallpapers um, that I have and show you a bit of gorgeousness and what you can actually do. There'll be some videos, a series ongoing, what you can achieve using wallpapers. Now I know the print is big so incorporating that into like a small project yet even with a small print we're stamping over it adding to it and leaving you know snippets of the the item underneath you know because of the layers so it doesn't matter whether the print you know you may just use that section there and create an envelope out of it you know um, cut the flowers out and yeah so that's gorgeous the show you. and it's got a bit of a silver thing streaked through it too. So um, with me I was very creative um, for a very young age and everything I looked at you know I turned into something <laughs> something different. So yeah so I had many fingers and many pies and uh, so I just give it a go with everything you know. So do you know what it's hard to show wallpapers and talk. <laughs> Uh, but these are shades of lilacs, you know, so when you're doing a project, how gorgeous is that together, you know, and then there's also, I don't know if you can see that, yeah, anyway, I might do an intro in a different way, but I'll show you some gorgeousness as I go along the way. So I've made various different things with wallpapers, I've made fascinators that you can wear on your head, little mini fascinators. I've made dress forms, um, baby mini albums, N though it's an, an album and mini, it's not a junk journal or a journal. I've never created such. I've created many albums, but you know, like the crafters who are familiar with, you know, making those mini, mini journals, baby mini journals, and um, you had the material journals, you know, made out of material and crochet and so forth. So, yeah, wallpaper was my go-to for everything I crafted with. Um, so this, this is just how it comes in the wallpaper book, stagnated like that. So you just stand the knife straight down and take them out in the color, color, color schemes. So but those four, I'll just try and cover up all the other colors. Those four were exactly that in a wallpaper book. So cut them out as I did. And in that way you've got a contrasting, complementing array of colours. The lilac was three, these teals and blues were four. Then we come to, not the same colour but same pattern, um, the pink. But how gorgeous is that? Yeah. So yeah, you know, I'm just a frugal crafter and I turn anything into something. Um, you know, when you put your mind to it, you can. I've just got to complete them. <laughs> How gorgeous is that? Can't see that. I'll turn it around. Just a touch of pink. That's just the, the greys, but this has a touch of pink uh, here as well. But How beautiful is that colour? Yeah, so like I said, the, you know, the print's big, but how gorgeous is that? That's beautiful. Wallpaper. There you go. Then we get into, see, actually, I, I think I've left this one. How many is there? Okay, three. So can you see? That's how they come out in the book. Uh, that's a close-up of one of them. Close-up of two. Entry. Oh, just give a, a bigger show so you can get the idea. Might have been a bit too small. And I'll put one on the other side so you can see the contrast. Okay. There we go. How gorgeous are they together? So yeah, wallpaper was my friend, and you go and you know get the discontinued ones. And uh, you know you might, when the the lottery buy 
somebody ringing up and saying, you know, if they keep your, tum keep your number, saying, look, we've, you know, we've got a pallet of wallpaper books no longer needed. I, I missed out. I rang, I rang one month too late, um, a paint store that I used to get the wallpaper sample books originally for crafting with um, disabled children, Down syndrome and so forth. Yeah, they were my, my supplier. That. I'll put the purple in there. So yeah, that's where the love and the passion came from creating. And how gorgeous is that? You know, like journals, little mini album book things, what they used to make. You know, that, that's beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh, we've got some more flowers. So, but how beautiful is that blue? It's striking. Okay, well I think that might belong to that other piece. And then the back. You'll learn to pick it, yeah. You'll learn to pick it with your eye. Here's, here's another group, which is for... Okay, I don't know if you can see that. How gorgeous is that? Now I was just lucky, I was down in Sydney, but I'll tell you what, I paid the price getting a lot of this wallpaper back home. <laughs> yeah, I rang up a few stores in Sydney. So if anyone's interested, um, they'll just need to private message me and I can give them the name of the... because I don't need them now, you know, like Ballona doesn't have much or anything. So I took the opportunity... Oh my, I was just looking at that blue. I've got to show you guys, and the next one, I don't know if you can see the shine. Have a look at that. I didn't realise until I put it down. And it's on the silver one, I think. Yep, not a, it doesn't seem to be as... Uh, on the next one, yeah, on the, it's on the whole lot. Watch the green. Look at that. Oh, that's magic. Okay, wait for it guys, girls the green. That's beautiful. Okay, so... Now, if you're not far from Ballina and you think it's worth taking a trip, you're quite welcome to come along and go through all the books I've got and the paper I've got and um, take a sample. The sample is what I will be doing is a quarter of the page so that I can cut a whole page into four and at least that's a sample for somebody, you know, so and then I'll have a piece for myself. So so there's three opportunities there for somebody. I don't know if they had any matching I don't yeah, I'm not quite sure with that one. We'll get it later. Thank you. Here we go. This is pretty too. Okay. Batteries running out. Okay. But how, how gorgeous. It's got a gold. I'll rush because I'm coming to the end now. I think that might belong to the, the other group underneath. Okay. That could be contrasting. and snake skin and oh, I'm not quite sure what other. So, alright ladies, gents, um, that's snake skin. I'll tie up, but the intro will probably have to be another um, video. <laughs> it's hard to sort of like, because I get excited looking at the papers, because this is for the first time, because I just cut them out of the book, roll them up, and, and pack them in a, a suitcase. I bought an extra suitcase to bring it back. Um, how bad is that? That's addictive to, to wallpaper because I see the value and they're durable and they're washable and you know there are videos that I'm going to be changing channel um, or I may have already done it depending on which one I upload this to. So there'll be you know series here, series there, various different things including um, household hints and tips how to create something like palette signs. Just yeah um, a pot rack that you hang over the kitchen bench. Um, I made one for as little as five dollars, and it's rustic, it's grainy, it's got chains, and you know I'll, I'll talk more on that and with a, a few photos of how it all came about. 
All right, um, till then, take care, God bless, and don't forget to subscribe and press the notification button. And, you know, my journey is up and down, so I may load, you know, three movies during a week, and then the next week one, then the next week none, and then the following, you know, you, I couldn't upload ten. So it just depends on my, my strength and um, my voice, whether I can talk. Um, Sorry, cancer is not good. I'm over it, but it, it did a lot of damage in the process. So uh, sometimes I want to limit talking, and I know this video has gone long enough. All right, take care. God bless.